After the raging success and pretty darn good title of Sonic the Hedgehog that pushed the Sega Genesis to new levels of popularity, Sega made the somewhat odd decision to port it onto their 8-bit master system. This game is, however, not a port. If it were, I'd likely not even mention it, but it is instead a completely original game, with a few returning stages from the 16-bit version, albeit heavily altered versions of said stages. The game looks amazing for 8-bit, and feels more like a chibi, cute take on Sonic, and I personally really like it. The Master System is certainly one of the most technically impressive consoles for the time it was released, and this game shows that off with very vibrant colors in the backgrounds and stages. The music is also great, though not nearly as memorable as the Genesis game soundtrack. We even get some pretty stellar level layouts in Green Hill and Bridge Zone despite some heavy flaws. I don't want to beat around the bush though with this game, so I'll just say, I straight up don't like it. It's massively flawed, but I must admit that the first six stages are mostly fun and can feel even better than their 16-bit counterparts. Even at this point, and especially later on, however, the game shows problems that run deep. The biggest problem is rings, since you can no longer pick up rings and get anything back. So if you get hit once, and then you get hit again about a half second later once the invincibility frames are gone, you'll die. The ring system was one of the coolest features of the original game, but here they've stripped it down, and rings only matter for giving an extra life or getting into a special stage. But since there are no longer any Chaos Emeralds, and there are such short stages, it's highly unlikely for you to ever get an extra life or find any point to the boring special stages. There's also no longer that integral, satisfying speed, and most levels just slow everything down to an unbelievable crawl, often wanting the player to make precise jumps, which doesn't mix well with the control scheme whatsoever. I resent the game for being so boring, but also being unfair and difficult beyond belief. They decided to have auto-scrolling levels, and levels where the screen is pushed up, and if you fall, you hit the bottom and die. These are terrible enough for most 8-bit games, but being in a Sonic game, it's even less forgivable. I'm really annoyed that the design is so problematic because so much was going for it, but I only managed to play the subpar experience for around 45 minutes, and couldn't go more than about two-thirds through it. Though it has some great visuals, shows off the tech well, and has a few great levels, Sonic 1 Master System is so absolutely annoying and strips away so much of what made Sonic great that it will receive a 2 out of 5. Maybe a bit generous, you think? But considering the other travesties the Sonic series has to offer, this game is a masterpiece in comparison.